Right, back again with you again. How many times this week? <laughs> Four times, I believe. We're making the fifth on uh, Tuesday, ready for the walk? Oh, I'm looking forward to it, it'll be good. I raised the money for kids. Uh, if you want to donate, please, there's a link in the description down below. Right, so that was a win. We'll take it. We'll take a scrappy 1 0 every, every day of the week, but aye, that was not pretty at all, was it? It was a bit of a drab game. I mean, I was going to call it a ball draw up to that little bit of quality by M. Marino at the end, you know, the header from the corner. And you question Crystal Palace's defending, but I tell you what, it's a championship like game, wasn't it, really? No quality for both teams. And you can tell why Crystal Palace are bottom of the league, and you can tell why we'll need some quality in the January, you know, especially going up front, because uh, we're lacking in that final third each game we play. But again, you can't fault the lads' effort, you know, at the end there, you know, getting that 1 0 uh, win and it's three points for Newcastle and what that puts with the top six now. It does, yeah, we're flying at the minute. So it's just uh, how far can I, how far can Newcastle actually go? Are we jumping ahead of ourselves yeah? Yeah, you don't want to jump ahead of yourselves too much. I think it's just take one game at a time. Uh, every game is important, like Rafa says. You know, you just got to analyse each team that you play, and you've got to look at their their strengths and weaknesses. And I think Rafa's not getting too ahead of himself. He knows uh, that each game in the Premier League is tough, and each game has its challenge. But it's all about just staying in the game. Just like today, yes, it was a nil-nil draw. It wasn't the best game to watch, but Newcastle stuck in there right the way through. Crystal Palace, you know, you'd think being nil-nil towards the end, they would they would threaten. If they had been Teke, do you think that might be in a different story? Might have been, but it's ifs and buts, isn't it? I think the way Newcastle just stuck into the game from minute one to the 90th minute and you just grind that result out, you know, the, the result that we needed just to, to, get, to lift, with, lift the spirits towards the end and, you know, get, the, yeah. get those three points. As you can tell, like with Zaha, I thought it was shocking second half, he didn't get in the game and he faded out and Townsend was bits and spelled, but you can tell they haven't got a focal point up front, which helped Newcastle, because I don't think Rob Elliott had a save to make. I think a couple of shots went wide off the top of my head. Um, speaking of that, on the, on the other way, going attacking-wise for Newcastle, we were passes straight, I thought Shelby was poor person, I thought Hayden was poor, Atsu was bright and spelled, Richie poor going forward, but worked hard. The, the quality wasn't there the day, was it? Even though we won the game. Yeah, just lacking in that final third, you know, there was no one really getting forward, there was no one committing themselves, and that, that was a big issue for us. And uh, there was no one getting in any good positions, and it was just frustrating time and time and time again. And it was kind of just playing into Crystal Palace's hands, you know, they were prepared just to sit back right the way through the game and take the point, as, as, he, as he could say. But I don't know. Had a lot of the ball give. as well, didn't the Palace? Yeah, well, you, you expect that. You know, Roy Hodgson would have said, you know, let's try and keep the ball. But that's what we should have to try to do. You know, keep the ball for maybe more than two minutes. You know, keep the ball. Just don't don't lose it after maybe two or three passes. And that was the most frustrating thing. Yeah. But uh, well, I thought the first twenty minutes we were great, and then I thought it was bang average. And we're lucky. And, I'm, and that sounds critical, but we are lucky to get three points there, mind you. Very, very lucky. So we've got three points. We climb the league, as I say. We're very, very happy. It's very uh, Rafa performance s. Um, not, not nice to watch but he will get you that's why, he's, that's why he gets these high jobs that's why Real Madrid cr criticised him won games but didn't do it in style so we've got three points happy we'll just come away from the football for a second and obviously there's been big talk around the place listen everyone can you hear that ambulance it's back again all the time you notice that when I do the videos all the time all the time right so first of all your thoughts initially when Mike Ashley well the club put the, the statement up on the website saying right we're up for sale it's the best interests of the club. What's your general thoughts on Mike Ashley? Very, very excited, but uh, as the week went on, it, you've got to be careful what you wish for. And it, that is Nicking mine saying now, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I'm actually nicking it, but a lot of people have said that, to be fair, and you have to be, to be careful what you wish for, because Mike Ashley in the past, he's put the club up for sale, what, two or three times, and it's not quite there, uh, worked out. So we're just hoping, third time lucky, that this time Amanda Stavey or whoever it is is going to come in and just, just give her the money that we need just to try and strengthen this team and just take one to that next level. So when I say to you, Mike Ashley, What's the first couple of things that spring in your mind? Go, go, go. Failure. Failure. See, mine's stadium name change. Joe Kinnear, um, Kevin Keegan and Wonga. That, that's why I say failure, because you look at all of that. All, all of that in the one is just not good. That's some of it. For, 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 for the size of our football club, the way we've been messed around, you know, in the 10 years that he's been here, I just think we need to, a fresh change, a fresh start and just... You know, with Rafa Benitez being the manager, we've got one of the world's best managers. You know, he's we been have. there and done it. And I think Rafa Benitez deserves a transit kit. I mean, whether it be 70 million, 100 million, whatever, we need to boost this this, this squad. And we need to just try and take this club in the right direction. Because we all know what Rafa wants. He wants to try and win an FA Cup, a League Cup, something like that, and try and build the club he needs, on. He needs funds, doesn't he? Yeah, so yeah. You've, you've timed that spot on to be next question then. Amanda Stavely with her group, PCP, whatever it's called, um, Holdings Company, blah, 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 Capital, whatever. Um, she's fronting the company. She looks like, fingers crossed, that is look, their, their company are looking into our uh, NUFC, going for their accounts and so on and so on, see how much they think we actually are worth. Do you want this to happen? Well, I mean, if she is going to say what she says she's going to do and put some money into the club and help it move her forward, then yeah, why not? Will but she, though? 
Because it's I all say that, hard, don't they? Well, it, well, it's hard because you know you've only got to look at other clubs like support with Blackburn when they've had investment and it's all gone the other way. Yeah, they might be rich in that, but are they going to be better off than Mike Ashley? You know, are they going to have the money to, to take it on that next level? That that's a big question. I think this time around, though, I think there's more genuine interest and more hope. Would you go along with that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you look at the league position as well. You know, we're currently in the top six, and there's going to be interest there. You know, you, you look at the size of this club: fifty-two thousand fans home. You know, four or five thousand away from home. You know, the passion is second and all is brilliant. And I think a lot of the owners are taking notice, and you, you've, got, you've only got to think of where this club can go and what it can achieve. Uh, you know, in the next two or three years. So you're a YouTuber. Sell yourself. Uh, I'm on 100% NUFC. Uh, go along and subscribe. I've got a match day experience out tonight on the Crystal Palace game. Yeah, go along and check us out. Champion, thanks for watching. See you later.